Hey everybody, what is going on? This is D-Man here and today I thought I'd show you guys the new user interface and the new inventory. I don't really like the inventory, it's kind of uh, difficult to get used to, but once we get used to it then it should be alright. I, I really don't see why they changed it though because the other one was just fine for me. That's just for me though. Um, also some of the FPS boosts, I've been getting about 10 to 15 frames difference with this new uh, experimental update with the uh, new user interface at least. And uh, it's actually, it's starting to look really good. So if you have a less high-end computer, then you might actually be able to run DayZ now because it, this new update makes the game look really good. So in case you guys don't know how to get experimental, you're going to want to open up Steam, go to libraries, go to games, and then go to where it says DayZ. Um, you're going to want to right-click on it, go to properties, and go over to betas, and where it'll, right here where it says experimental for me, it'll say none for you. Just going to click on that and then go to experimental. And once you click on that, Daisy will start to update. I think it's like 1.8 gigabytes, and that will be the uh, experimental update. So after that, go over to General, then go to Set Launch Options, and you're going to want to type this in. It's minus sign New UI, just like that, and that will launch the new user interface. So once you get that completely downloaded, then you should be ready to play it. Um, just a heads up, every time you, uh, if you want to go back to the normal stable branch, you're just going to go back to Properties, go to Betas, and switch that back to none and then go to set launch options erase that hit ok and uh, every time you go back to experimental though you will have to download that 1.8 gigabyte file so let's go ahead and switch over to the game alright guys so whenever you first log in this is what it's gonna look like go over to configure and I'll show you guys my uh, video settings I might actually have to change these now that I got that 10 to 15 FPS boost difference so um, if you guys want to you guys can copy those settings but I probably will be changing those and uh, this is just what some of this looks like and then go ahead and go back change server this it actually looks pretty pretty decent I guess it looks pretty good I guess but um, right here I don't think this is lined up properly because it says players I, I'm pretty sure that should be the time which should be right there and I'm pretty sure this is the version which it is and then mode yeah so I'm pretty sure it, this is just uh, completely out of uh, out of order so once that gets fixed it might look pretty good you can go oh here's my server right here if you want to you guys can go join that server right there that's mine so um, yeah that's pretty much what it looks like nothing too special I guess go to the character you can change your dude make him look I got Matt Matt might change that too cuz why Matt but uh okay let's go ahead and hop in the game because this ain't this ain't the special part all right guys so i've just logged in and i'm sure you guys can already tell a couple differences down there in the bottom right corner from right to left we had the drink meter the food meter the temperature meter the blood meter and i believe that last one is your overall health meter uh, i don't know about you guys but i can just feel the fps boost in this game it actually looks really great right now really beautiful but uh, over there in the distance, you can see a little bit of fog. They've actually added in fog in the game. It looks pretty good, and uh, it uh, it changes. I mean, the fog the fog changes and stuff. It's not always that far away, and so uh, that's th that's that. But uh, right now, that bottom the bottom right meter shows everything for your food and drink, and I don't think it actually works right now. I think it's bugged and it doesn't even move, so you can't rely on that as of today. And uh, that's a shame because up here in the inventory, it doesn't show how thirsty or how hungry you are anymore. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a tough one to uh, play with. I mean, you'll just have to rely on these ones right here. I feel like having a drink. You'll just have to rely on those until they fix that. Hopefully, it'll be fixed and stable. But I don't know. And then here is the main inventory. Um, right here, this is everything on the ground. This is your main inventory of like an overall inventory of everything that's on your body. And of course, you got everything else like more in detail. And uh, the only part that I've had uh, had trouble with is whenever you come across a dead person, and you try to get their gear, and you know there's other players in the area, and you're trying to do it in a hurry because you don't want to die. Well, this is exactly how it's going to look whenever you come up on someone. You're going to have to open up all these, like their their backpack and their cargo pants are all going to be closed. So you're going to have to open those up, see what they got, and then. You can't just drag it over like that anymore. Like you can't just put it on your character and then drag and drop like the uh, .58 update inventory. You're gonna actually have to drag it all the way over here and uh, just like that. So if they have like a helmet or something on and you want the helmet instead of this police hat, you'll have to take that helmet and drag it all the way over here and replace that hat. You can't just drag it over 
and uh, put it on your character anymore. So that's pretty much that. I hate. I really hate how you have to open up these every time because that that can just be a time waster and can get you killed. And I wish I had a different weapon with some ammo because um, to put on attachments and stuff like an MP5K, put on a silencer and stuff. You just have to push that plus button and then drag it from your inventory onto the weapon slots or not the weapon yeah the weapon slots and uh there's actually a new way to reload i have a video on it i'll just post it over this video and you guys can go watch that and uh, it's actually pretty it's a, it's a different way of reloading you can't just take ammo and drag it right there it'll always be red even if this was shotgun ammo you can't just do that and you can't just drag it onto that and then it'll reload it no you can't do that but go watch that video and I will show you guys how to reload. Alright guys, so I want to show you guys one last thing with the new inventory. Right down here, of course you guys may have noticed this already. The new hotbar is not on the bottom of your screen like it was in the .58. You know how uh, it was at the bottom of your screen. Well, now, in case you're in a hurry and like say you have a flashbang there, you have ammo there. And you're not going to know, if you're in a hurry, you're not going to know which weapon or which slot had your weapon in it and stuff. So you're going to being a little bit of a scurry there I don't know if they might on they might actually plan on changing that one because that will get people killed quite a bit I feel like so guys that is the point five nine update hopefully it will be coming out to stable sometime soon I love the visual changes I don't like the inventory or anything else like that just pretty much all visual changes in the FPS boost so hopefully that helps you guys out thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a nice day